Hey everyone, Jay from Digiboard Games here. Today we're going to be having a look at a new game from Mobage and um, DNA Dungeons and Dragons Arena of War. So, this game is taking place during this new Forgotten Realms event called the Sundering, where they're planning on having um, the whole world of Forgotten Realms redone because a lot of the fans were having problems with some of the things that they had changed. So this game is going to be kind of going hand in hand with some of the more popular events that are going to be happening at like game shops and of course um, in R.A. Salvatore's books. So we'll just do a quick menu overview here. Um, front end's pretty simple, you know, you have your inbox, your gifts, um, and under more you have all of your different options and um, your help. So we'll start by taking a look at our character sheet here. This is our tiefling rogue. Um, currently, I'm only level 5, but I've been, I've been having, you know, a pretty decent time with this game. Uh, it really wasn't what I was expecting at all. You know, it's it's free to play, which is kind of nice. Um, and here you can see some of my powers. Um, currently, I I'm trying to really figure out how to use the fusions and better equip my characters. Um, it's kind of confusing off the start when. Um, you know they don't really explain it at all so you're kind of going off on a whim and really trying to figure it out on your own what I've figured out so far is that um, powers with the same colors boost each other a lot more than others um, here's a few of the in-app purchases that you know they have in the game uh, I do not believe that there's any way in the game to earn GP, but you can see here that they do have it set up. It's, you know, they're pretty basic, you know, $1 all the way up to $100 price. Um, and you can purchase better cards, and better options of getting cards instead of just having the chests that you open by completing quests and um, by uh, joining parties and having people join yours. <coughs> Currently, my login reward today was a few power scrolls. Those are used in fusions to help boost your your power abilities. So we'll take a look at today's special quests. We'll jump into the easy one first um, because you know my guy's not overpowered, and it's usually better. So we're going to grab a party to go in with. And um, the more party members that you get, usually the higher your attack and defense gets. And that will help you out throughout the battle. So here's a look at what combat looks like in Arena of War. Um, like I was just saying, our team is pretty stacked currently because I got a good draw of some random characters to bring in with me. So, I'm doing a lot of damage, and they're, you know, hitting for less than a hundred. So, I'll be able to walk right through these guys and have some fun with it. Um, one of the fun parts of the action that I really enjoyed was bouncing enemies off of walls and back into yourself. Because doing so, you actually get more hits. And as you saw right there, when you know the pirate bounced that one enemy off the wall, he actually landed on the archer, and the archer was able to hit him as well. And he bounced back on the wall, and then came right back at the archer, and he was able to hit him again. So it's all about combos in in the fights. If there's a way for you to get an enemy up against the wall, bounce him, and have him come back and 
be able to hit him again and again and again that's awesome because the combo stacks and you do a lot more damage one thing I don't overly like about the game is the um, the action points or the quest energy as they like to call it you have I think a hundred that you can spend and I think it takes roughly about um, three minutes for your points for one point to come back so it does take a really long time between adventures to get you know really moving forward but they do have a few options underneath the, um, the in-app purchases where you can purchase potions and those potions will be able to you know refill your um, your quest energy so overall I'm I'm enjoying the game you know it's got its quirks and its mechanics to work out but um, there's really nothing to do with the sundering in the game so far that I have seen um, I'm gonna keep playing and um, update you guys later on on how this game progresses things to avoid and really you know how to utilize this game you know from a free-to-play standpoint so that you can keep playing it as a free-to-play and don't really have to spend any money on it whatsoever you know, right now I would probably give this a, a 4 out of 5 because the presentation is there um, the only thing that I'm having a hard time understanding is the fusion of your cards with your abilities that you want to use. Um, hopefully one of you can really enlighten me on that in the comments below. I would appreciate any feedback whatsoever on features and you know different ways to go about you know, utilizing this app and making it, you know, as, as fun as it needs to be. So thanks for watching. Um, stay, stay tuned. And we'll have a follow-up video coming in the next few weeks. Thanks again for your time. Um, you can subscribe below, as always. You know, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. And thanks again for stopping by.